Oh, it's got a moat on it. That's it. It's got oh, boy, y'all come through the black neighborhood like y'all ready for combat. What's up, guys, and welcome to another video, which is going to be on the Meepo V4 electric skateboard. Now, I did a review on this when it first came out. Since then, I've got some other boards. However, I still go back to the Meepo V4. It rides the best, it has the most torque, and it just feels like the best quality out of them all. Love the remote and the response. Anyway, that's all in the review. However, what I don't like about it is they advertise an 11 mile range and I've only been getting, the most I've ever seen is seven miles. I've been getting like five to maybe six, if I'm lucky, miles out of this board when I ride it. So Meepo has actually sent me the ER battery. And in this video, we're gonna see how easy it is to put this in and then see how the range is. They advertise a 20 mile range with this. So I'm hoping to get at least 10 or 11 since I'm only getting about five right now. The battery that comes in this is 144 watt hours. And this one is 302.4 watt hours. So let's tear in. Hopefully putting this in is gonna be super simple. Now, if you look on your board, you won't see exposed screws. Uh, so the, the proper way to go about this is using a hair dryer and heating up the grip tape and pulling it back. But I preferred to expose these in the past. So if you take a magnet and just run it along your board, you can easily find those screws, poke through. And yeah, that's pretty elementary. Uh, this is the back of the board and this is the front. This is where the battery is located. There's your charge port. Now this board, this is not the ER, it came with only the one amp charger and it takes, geez, it takes hours to charge this thing up. So I don't have the eight amp charger yet, but uh, I'm hoping to, to get that also. Anyway, so remove these six screws. As you're taking the last couple out, make sure to support the battery because then it will drop down from beneath. And look at that, two connections and we can unplug it. Just pull those right apart. Geez, hopefully that's gonna fit in there all right. Now zip these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Phillips head screws out. They look to be a number one. And with those all out, we should be able to separate this now and take that cover off, slide the wire through. Now I will note if you're ordering the extended range battery for your Meepo, I'm pretty sure it's gonna come just as an assembly like this, but uh, they kind of just sent me one to upgrade mine. So uh, keep that in mind. Pop the battery pack out of there. And there's the difference in them side by side. It's this small guy, a little bit bigger. It's not double the size though. And I was getting worried as I was taking this apart, but uh, the fact that it's a little bit bigger, it will not fit in the standard case. Check that out. The wiring is different on it too. Uh, so I'll have to message Meepo now and let them know. I guess uh, wasn't maybe one of the guys that sent me this battery, he assumed it was a direct swap into here, uh, but it's not, so. Couple weeks later and here's the update. After reaching out to Meepo, they did send me the ER case, which the battery fits in. However, we still have some wiring issues because in this case, the little ribbon cable and in this piece uh, is different. So this ribbon cable will not plug into the board. It takes a different one, it looks the same, but it's different. And then the connectors on the original battery, the standard range, this has actually got a beefier connection on it uh, for, I guess, I guess that's the recharge, I'm not sure, but this one's got thinner wires and this will not connect into the uh, standard range harness. So I'm gonna do a little flip floppy wire stuff here and get it together and then we can go do a range test, hopefully. You know, originally I had hoped to keep the standard range pack all together in one piece and, and then keep it as a spare when I go riding with the ER so that way if I run out of juice, I can swap that in easily with just six screws. But at this rate, I'm about to just parallel these two batteries together and have a super range. And the ER conversion is complete. I'm not going to lie, getting that battery in the ER case was extremely tight and difficult. Uh, I even had to swap over the charge port. This is the one that came on the ER case because this little... I, had, I actually cut this open to see what was inside, but there was just no room for this in there. It was so tight. And anybody knows what this is, let me know. But uh, my old one didn't have that, so I'll just... I guess I have to make sure to charge this and keep an eye on it when it's charging because, yeah, the way that it's crammed in there is just, it's its crazy. But got it all together, so let's, uh, let's go ride it. And here we go on the official range test. Fully charged up. We got Downstater ADV on the Meepo Mini 2, also fully charged up. So let's see how many miles we can go. I got Matt my run started on the phone. Uh, by the way, we're, we're both the same weight too. He's uh, 180, I'm 180. He's just, he's a little bit shorter, so less wind resistance. On, on his. Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, dude, it did a wheelie on me. Watch. It does it all the time. Watch. You got, you got a car behind you. If you just give it a little juice, it goes right up, dude. 
Make sure to always wear a helmet, guys. Especially if you're a newbie shortboard rider. Seems like he's having a good time in the, the nice weather. Hey, man, how you make that goddamn thing go? Oh, it's got a motor on it. That's it. It's got oh, boy, y'all come through the black neighborhood like y'all ready for combat. Oh, oh yeah, man. Oh, We're ready for hugs, man. Hey, man. That's it. That's it. What, what are you drinking over there? Hey, I'm drinking wine. There you go, my man. My you man. Go. Getting well, an early listen, start. Listen. White Manor Sherrits Cream White Conquer. Woo! I've been drinking it since I was 17. There you go. 72, man. You doing something right? I must be doing something right. <laughs> My man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love and this you table are... you got here, too. Yeah, hey, man. It goes with the I'll say cheers to you, too, man. Here All right. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So he keeps the neighborhood real clean and has the fence with trash cans all along it. How about that? Yo, that's my boy. I'm going to go hang out with him tomorrow. I'm not even kidding. He was the man. That's my dude right there. Living the good life. Keeping yeah. the neighborhood clean too. What is this one? Hold on a second. Third helpings. Oh, that smells good. We gotta get some food. Woo! How's that thing feel? Squirrely? You do a kickflip, man? Huh? You do a kickflip? Yeah, no. Alright, my man. So by the way, we've been on speed four the whole time and now we're gonna do an acceleration and top speed run. V4 against the mini two. On go. One, two, three, go. Oh. Oh yeah, the V4. Smoked it. All right, let's see if we can get him on the top end now. He's doing 26, we're doing 23. So, 20, 23, yeah, we're about, we're about neck and neck on the top speed. He had us off the line. Yeah, I'm, I'm maxed out. That's it, all right, so, so you had the off the line some and then top end, we were, we were even. 28? Oh, so mine was reading 23, but I got the larger wheels on here. That's why I got I got the 100 millimeter yeah. wheels. Yeah. That was faster than I want to go on this thing. I'm not kidding. How, how did it feel? Sketchy. Dude, I can't believe we have three, or I have three bars on here. We are far as hell from your house. Did you see the size of that speaker? I know this video is not about the Mini 2, but see how these 100 millimeter wheels are just flying over all these, these roots and everything? We're, we're going down this long path and the, well, let's see. Nah, that's true. Yeah, we, we are hurting the range test. All right. Well, we won't continue down this. You see they got test wells all along here because there's oil storage. So it's probably contaminated land or, well, maybe they've had a spill or it's just for in case there is a spill. Look at all these inverters. Out of your 
ears feel after that? Dude, it's wild, bro. Wild. You just feel it in your chest. Oh, oh my God, it was the most bass I've ever heard in my life. Well, found the next Will It Run project. This is a Ross lumber carrier. It's got a hand crank start on it. And well, geez, it's, it's all, all intact. So I'm starting to think this might be a good project. I'm coming, wait for me. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> can you ride your bike across that or what? What? Can you ride your bike over there? No, I cannot. Come on, man, you can do it. Just put the Spider Man mask on. You could do it. What? And there it is guys, 12.8 miles. The V4 just died. I know you can't see much out here, but the, the Mini 2 was still going. So I'm gonna see if I can get another half mile out of this, but they were both beeping and basically on one bar. Never mind, guys, the Mini 2 didn't even make another lap around the parking lot. So they both died at 12.8 miles, riding hard on speed setting forward. Race car. And I think that'll wrap up the Shuffle V4 extended range video. I got the Rock Pal 500 watt charging these up right now just doing some testing with this but very impressed with the range of course you got to remember we were on setting four just ripping the whole time going a little off-road too and there were some hills but these two were neck and neck and I've got 18 or 19 miles out of this one before riding on speed three and being a little conservative so I'm sure the v4 er is going to be right 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 there with it uh I think it's safe to say that if you're gonna buy one of these definitely go with the extended range because Again, I was only getting five or six miles out of it before and that's just it's really not enough uh, So swapping the batteries as you saw in this video It's it's not just a, a direct swap at least in my case It wasn't so, so something to keep in mind and you know in the first video I was so used to the mini 2 the short board that I didn't like the v4 at first I don't like that. It doesn't have a kicktail on it, but after riding the two of them the V4 is certainly is just such a better cruiser, ripper, shredder. Uh, this is great for the city though, because be, being able to pop that tail and go through tight turns and all that is definitely very beneficial. And as you saw, the range, of course, is the same on them. So fun-wise though, the V4 is, is definitely the board uh, to grab. I'm sure I'll be using both of these in many future videos, but that wraps this one up for now. If you drop it a thumbs up, hugely appreciated. Uh, any comments or feedback you have also greatly appreciate that kind of thing and so till next time this is no nonsense know how and i do hope to see you again Let me just stop down at cooper's you keep saying you got something for me jen's karaoke so then